Imagine standing in the heart of Detroit during the late 1980s. The city pulses around you, a symphony of industrial sounds, from the rhythmic clanging of machinery to the distant hum of motor engines. It's here, in this unexpected crucible of creativity, that a new sound begins to emerge. One that captures the essence of the city's hard-working spirit and its unyielding drive toward the future. This sound, raw, electric, and utterly revolutionary, would come to be known as techno music. Welcome to the Backstage Vault, where today we're diving deep into the electrifying world of techno. From its underground beginnings to its rise as a global phenomenon, we're turning up the volume on the pioneers who forged this genre with nothing but a vision and a beat. In this video, we're tracing the origins of techno, celebrating the visionaries who laid its foundations, and exploring how they transformed their innovative sounds into a cultural movement that reverberated around the world. Let's uncover the stories of the trailblazers who dared to dream in BPM and turned Motor City into the epicenter of a musical revolution. Born from the convergence of African-American culture, European electronic music influences, and a futuristic vision of society, techno became more than just a genre. It was a response, a rebellion, an expression of resilience and innovation. The late 1980s in Detroit were a time of significant change. The city, known for its booming automotive industry, was facing economic downturns, leading to social and cultural shifts. Amidst this backdrop, a group of visionary artists and DJs, including the legendary Belleville 3, Juan Atkins, Derek May, and Kevin Saunderson, began experimenting with new electronic sounds. They fused the rhythmic elements of funk with the emerging electronic music from Europe, creating a unique sound that reflected the industrial heartbeat of their city. These pioneers used the technology available to them, drum machines, synthesizers, and sequences, to craft tracks that were not only danceable, but also full of emotion and depth. Their music mirrored the technological advancements and existential uncertainties of the era, offering an escape, a form of expression, and a sense of community for those who felt disconnected from the mainstream. The socio-cultural environment of Detroit, with its rich musical heritage spanning Motown to jazz, provided a fertile ground for this new sound. Techno became a voice for the city's youth, particularly within the African-American community, who were seeking to carve out their own identity and future amidst urban decay and economic despair. As these techno titans played in underground clubs and late-night radio shows, they weren't just spinning records, they were laying the groundwork for a cultural revolution. Their innovative sound quickly spread, resonating with audiences worldwide and transforming Detroit into the birthplace of a global music movement. Diving deeper into the heart of techno's inception, let's spotlight the architects of this musical marvel the Belleville Three, Juan Atkins, Derek May, and Kevin Saunderson. These trailblazers, hailing from Belleville, Michigan, a stone's throw from Detroit, were not just friends but pioneers who would etch their names into the annals of music history. Juan Atkins, often heralded as the godfather of techno, embarked on his musical journey in the late 70s. Influenced by the futuristic visions of Alvin Toffler and the cosmic sounds of Parliament Funkadelic, Atkins saw music as a portal to a new dimension. With his visionary mind, he melded the beats of funk with the mechanical precision of electronic music, producing tracks that felt like sonic blueprints for the future. His creation of Cybertron, alongside Rick Davis, marked the genesis of techno, with tracks like Alleys of Your Mind and Techno City, not merely songs but declarations of a new era. Derek May, the innovator, took the baton from Atkins, infusing techno with an emotional depth that transcended its mechanical roots. His masterpiece, Strings of Life, is a euphoric journey that marries the raw energy of Detroit with ethereal synth melodies, encapsulating the hope and melancholy of its era. May's work exemplified how techno could embody the human experience, weaving narratives of resilience and aspiration amidst the backdrop of Detroit's industrial decline. Kevin Saunderson, known as the Elevator, brought techno to the masses. His ability to transform underground sounds into club anthems, as evident in his project Inner City, broke techno from its niche confines. Tracks like Good Life and Big Fun became anthems of an era, celebrating the joy and communal spirit of the dance floor. Saunderson's genius lay in his ability to make techno accessible, turning it into a global phenomenon without losing the essence of its Detroit roots. Together, these early innovators did not just create music, they sparked a movement. Their backgrounds, steeped in the eclectic sounds of Detroit's diverse musical landscape, from Motown soul to funk's groove, fused with their fascination for European electronic music, birthed a genre that was as much a reflection of their journeys as it was of their city's story. Through their pioneering use of technology, they crafted a sound that was innovative yet deeply human, capturing the complexity of their experiences and aspirations. As the 1990s dawned, techno's pulse was felt far and wide, with cities around the globe tuning into Detroit's revolutionary sound. 
Berlin, a city with a history of division and rebirth, became an epicenter for techno in Europe. The fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989 opened up spaces for creativity and expression, and techno found a new home in the abandoned warehouses and clubs of East Berlin. Here, the music became a soundtrack for reunification, a celebration of freedom, and a future full of possibilities. Across the channel, the UK embraced techno with open arms, integrating it into the burgeoning rave scene. Cities like London and Manchester became hotbeds for techno parties, where the Detroit sound mixed with local influences to create new subgenres and experiences. The energy of these underground raves, fueled by the relentless beats of techno, captured the spirit of a generation looking to break free from societal norms, uniting people through the power of music. But the techno wave didn't stop there. It swept through clubs and festivals in cities like Tokyo, where it resonated with Japan's cutting-edge technological culture, and Ibiza, where it soundtracked the hedonistic escapades of party-goers from around the world. Even in places like Johannesburg and Sao Paulo, techno found a foothold, merging with local sounds to create a truly global tapestry of electronic music. The spread of techno music across the globe is a testament to its universal appeal. It transcends language, culture, and geography, connecting people through the shared language of rhythm and melody. As techno continued to morph and expand, it didn't just stick to one sound or formula. Oh no, it was too restless, too full of energy for that. The genre began to splinter and evolve, giving birth to a kaleidoscope of subgenres, each with its own unique flavor and following. From the dark, atmospheric layers of Detroit techno, we saw the emergence of minimal techno, a genre that stripped back the music to its core elements, creating a hypnotic, stripped-down sound. Artists like Richie Horton, with his Plasticman persona, pushed the boundaries of what techno could be, introducing a minimalist approach that focused on the space between beats as much as the beats themselves. Then there was acid techno, characterized by its squelchy, resonant bass lines produced by the Roland TB303 synthesizer. Pioneers like Hardfloor took the acid sound and ran with it, creating tracks that were both wildly energetic and intricately layered, proving that techno could be as playful as it was profound. But why stop there? Techno also gave rise to harder, faster variants like hardcore techno, with artists such as The Mover and Lenny D dialing up the tempo and intensity to create a sound that was as aggressive as it was electrifying. And let's not forget about ambient techno, where artists like Aphex Twin and The Orb blended techno rhythms with ambient soundscapes, inviting listeners on a journey that was as much about introspection as it was about movement. As we moved into the new millennium, the evolution of techno didn't slow down. Subgenres like tech house and dub techno emerged, blurring the lines between techno and house, and introducing deep, dubby bass lines into the mix. Artists like Carl Craig and Moritz von Oswald were instrumental in this fusion, crafting sounds that were as suitable for a contemplative night as they were for a euphoric morning on the dance floor. And let's not overlook the role of festivals and clubs in this evolution. Events like Trezor in Berlin, Movement in Detroit, and Awakenings in the Netherlands became breeding grounds for new techno styles, showcasing the genre's adaptability and its endless capacity for reinvention. And now, let's shift gears and dive into the vibrant heart of techno's cultural impact. As techno throbbed through the speakers of underground clubs and clandestine parties, it wasn't just the sound that captured the imagination of a generation, it was a whole aesthetic, a lifestyle. In the dimly lit dance floors where techno reigned supreme, a unique fashion sense emerged. Think oversized hoodies, neon rave gear, and futuristic accessories that mirrored the genre's forward-thinking ethos. The techno scene wasn't just about listening to music, it was about expressing identity, with each piece of clothing serving as a badge of belonging to this exclusive, nocturnal tribe. But techno's influence didn't stop at fashion. It permeated the art world, inspiring a wave of visual artists who saw in techno a parallel to their own experimental endeavors. Multimedia installations, graphic design, and even graffiti began to echo the genre's themes of innovation and rebellion. In galleries and street corners alike, the geometric patterns and bold colors of techno-inspired art became symbols of a movement that was as much about visual spectacle as it was about the auditory experience. And let's talk about nightlife. Techno transformed it into something magical, an escapist haven where the worries of the day dissolved into the rhythmic pulse of the night. The genre's role in shaping the underground music scene cannot be overstated. It carved out spaces where people from all walks of life could come together, united by their love for the beat. Underground clubs became temples of techno, places where DJs were high priests, and the dance floor was sacred ground. In cities around the world, techno nights became the stuff of legend, each party a chapter in the genre's sprawling, global saga. 
But perhaps the most profound impact of techno has been its influence on the DIY ethos that characterizes much of the underground music scene. Techno artists and fans alike embraced a do-it-yourself approach, from producing tracks in home studios to organizing raves in abandoned warehouses. This ethos wasn't just about music, it was a statement of independence, a way of life that championed creativity over commercialism, and community over competition. Fast forward to today, and techno remains as vibrant and evolutionary as ever, a testament to its enduring appeal and its ability to adapt and resonate with new generations. In the current landscape, techno has not only maintained its roots but has also embraced new technologies and cultural shifts, leading to an ever-expanding universe of sound. Contemporary artists like Amelie Lenz, Charlotte DeWitt, and Carl Cox, to name just a few, are at the forefront of this wave, blending classic techno beats with fresh influences to create music that is both homage and forward-thinking. These artists, with their dynamic performances and groundbreaking productions, are writing the next chapters of techno's story, ensuring its place in the pantheon of music for years to come. The modern techno scene is a global phenomenon, thriving in clubs, festivals, and underground parties around the world. It's a genre that continues to evolve, influenced by emerging technologies and the creative visions of new artists. The genre's ability to reinvent itself, while staying true to its foundational ethos of innovation and inclusion, speaks to its lasting impact and relevance. As we wrap up this electrifying journey through the world of techno, we want to extend a heartfelt thank you to all of you who tuned in. Your passion for music and your curiosity about its origins and evolution are what keep us going here at the Backstage Vault. Thank you for joining us on this incredible ride. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Backstage Vault for more deep dives into the stories behind the music that moves us. Until next time, keep dancing, keep exploring, and keep the spirit of techno alive.